<laughs> Y'all, this is my jam. I love this song by Drake. Wait, wait, let the beat drop. Y'all know this about me, but I was a big techno girl. I still am. I still am a big techno girl, okay? I didn't been, how many raves I didn't been to? Not a lot. <laughs> but I've been to Life and Color. Do they still do Life and Color? I've been to Life and Color. That was like such an amazing experience. Oh, I'm good at swinging this ponytail. You got me? Got my shenane on today, y'all. Shenane, my aunt. Uh -huh, Gina. Okay, let me stop. My phone, no, I can't. Hope you feeling energy. Hope you feeling good. Hope you feeling good. Hope you feeling good. I hope you feeling great. Because the reading that we are doing today, let me get my desk a little closer. The reading that we are doing today, Flippity loop doop, scoopity boop. Okay. The reading that we are doing to y'all that looks so pretty. Y'all's beauty. Yes. Hold on, y'all. Wait, 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 wait. Oh Lord, a hot mess, right? But you know what? I had to get my energy right for this reading. It took me a while to get prepared for this reading because we are doing something a little deep today. A little deep. Shout out to all my moms. This is for all the moms, okay? We are especially my moms that lost babies, that golden babies. We are doing, I was called to do this. Um, I'm also doing it in honor of a friend. I have a couple of friends, a couple of them. Uh, but this one kind of hit home. I don't know one day she would not hit home because I've never, I have not went through that. But it hit home because I know how deeply my friend feels about it. So I just, I don't know. And it's, I had got the message before we were even talking about it, you know. And it just was just like, you need to do a golden baby reading. Babies that, you know, didn't fully make it here or they made it here and then they left. I'm like, man, what would my spirit want me to do? But I get it. And then it's just like when I mentioned it to my friend, my friend was like, that would actually be so amazing. Because she was just like, I would want to know, you know. I still had so many questions up to my baby. Like, I had so many things, you know, that I wanted to talk to my baby about or wanted to know about my baby or, you know, just why it had to end so soon. And I was like, wow, spirit really, spirit working in weird ways, man. But, but this is the reading we're going to be doing today. We're going to be doing the golden baby reading. Um, I'm going to be doing four decks, four, four, you know, four decks, four sets, four groups. That's the word I'm looking for. Four groups, okay? And you know how I like to do it. I'm not with the numbers. We're going to do it with the letters. We got group A, group B, group C, and group D today, okay? So, uh, something is telling me, you know, if your baby name would have started with any of them letters, choose the letter that your baby name would have started with. If not, then just choose whatever letter instantly can, clicks with you. Remember before choosing your group, remember, you know how I like to say, do your deep breaths, you know, do your deep breaths. Uh, it's something just really with the number four today. So we're going to pull four cards. We're going to do four cards and I'm going to do a Oracle card as well. Um, I think I'm going to pull two. Something is telling me to pull two Oracles. So we'll do four cards in your reading and then we'll do two oracles to kind of just shine light on the shine light on the situation, you know, shine light on whatever else your baby may have wanted to clarify with you. Um, this is for all my moms, my moms, my moms. And you know what too, if you it'll connect to me too. If you also had a baby that you lost in transition or something like that, fathers, this is for y'all too. Cause the mothers aren't the only we gotta remember, you know, I'm so you know, I was raised by a single mother, but I had a I had a father figure. I had a lot of father figures in my life, actually. My papa was my main father figure, and I had my uncle. And then as I got into adulthood, I had other men that played roles as fathers for me. Um, so to all my girls that feel fatherless, you know what? God and spirit always put some male energies around you to be that absent father for you. You know, um, so I do want my people to be minded of that too. All of my single father people, I mean, single parent homes and not knowing your father, just know God, if you look around, if you just look around at your life and where you are today, I bet there's some 
male figure that played your father and there's a female figure that played your mother. We are never on this planet alone while we're here. You hear me? You hear me. But yes, let's go ahead. Let's get into it. We are doing a reading today. We are calling out to all our golden babies. Golden babies. That's what we're doing. We're calling out to the golden babies, y'all. I like this. I had to zoom a little camera in on me a little more. Okay, now y'all can really see me. Y'all can see the cards. Y'all can see everything. Okay, okay. I don't have my headphones in today, so I'm hoping this. I'm hoping. I'm, I know I'm loud enough. I know I'm loud enough. Okay, Shanae Nae Energy. <laughs> Oh, all right, loud and poppy. That's how spirit like it. All right, and sisters, so you guys, thank you so much for blessing us to be here today. Thank you so much for blessing us on this journey and for guiding us in the right direction. And sisters and spirit guys, we are doing a collective reading today for Golden Babies. We are doing a collective reading for Golden Babies. All my Golden Babies, come on in the room. We're doing Group A, Group B, Group C, and Group D today. First group that we are starting with is going to be Group A. And sisters and spirit guys, guide the Golden Babies that who parents are choosing go Group A into Group A. Come on in, golden babies. Come on in. What messages do y'all have for your parents? What is it that you want them to know? What is it that you wanted to share with them before you made your departure? Or before you, you know, what, what messages do y'all have, golden babies? What messages do y'all have? What do y'all want to talk to mommy and daddy about? What is it? What is it? What is it? All right. Oh, oh. This golden baby came. And you know what? I was hearing that before I pulled these cards, too. Uh, I was hearing that this baby still comes into your dream state. This baby may be trying to... Um, high Empress. Oh, I mean, not High Empress, Lord. My bad, y'all. High Priestess is the bottom of your deck energy. Um, so overall energy for me. The bottom of the deck energy. Because it's kind of... You're kind of... Uh, what it's letting me know right now, what Golden Baby is telling me is that you're in a phase of seeking more. You're in a phase uh, of, of just looking for more. It could be knowledge. It could be, you know, understanding, which knowledge and understanding play hand in hand. This is group A. We all group A. I know. I just then flew straight into it. I ain't got no time to play. Um, you, you're seeking. It's, it's a lot of stuff that you're seeking right now. And definitely with this golden baby, uh, this is a girl. I'm feeling girl energy. I really, really am. I'm feeling that this could have been a little girl. Oh, uh, with this high priestess energy. Um, everything happens for a reason. I'm going to tell you this right now. I'm going to tell you this right now. Everything happens for a reason. That baby was not... Um, something's flying in my face. Because let me just show you what I got. Okay, so we got the death cord. Can y'all see that? We got the ten of stones. We got the seven of pipes. And y'all see how they upside down, right? And we got the moon card, a.k.a. the grandmother's card. Now, let me break down what it's giving me because this is my interpretation of it. This is the message that I'm receiving. Um, this baby definitely does come see you in your dreams. You still having dreams about this baby. You still seeing this baby real heavily, too. Um, and it's the reason you're seeing this baby because I definitely do believe that this baby is still some type of spirit guide for you. This baby is still connected to you. Um... Mm -mm -mm. Some, you're going to have something. Look, let me tell you something. This baby is telling you right now some stuff is going to have to come to an end. Some stuff is going to have to die, point blank, period. And this baby has been revealing it to you. It's somebody that you need to cut off. It's somebody that you need to get rid of. This baby has been trying to tell you. It's it's some negative energy that you got around you. And this could be the reason why you lost your baby. This could, this could definitely have played in a major role in it could have played in a major part because you were supposed to you're supposed to supposed to be at this level of of seven of pipes is supposed to be upside right this ten of stones is supposed to be upside right but it's not it's like your growth is being stunted your your elevation your rebirth all that is being stunted but something is going to have to die and i i don't mean literally could possibly be you may be look you may somebody 
maybe about to transition, maybe about to pass on. It's, it's a possibility that could be why you lost this baby. It could have been so much stress from somebody else, some elderly or something was sick and you were trying to take care of them. And then that ended up putting a lot of stress and strain on you and your body and your baby. And that's what caused this baby to pass on. Or it could be just some, some mess and some drama and some people that you got around you right now that you just really don't need around you. And with this high priestess card, this seeker card, it's like you're seeking for knowledge. You looking for a higher calling. You looking, I think the loss of your baby really kind of put this energy in you to where you were like, I need to go deeper. I need to look deeper because why did this happen? Why did this happen to me? Why did I lose my baby? Why, you know, why, why, why? I keep hearing all these why, why, whys. But everything happens for a reason. That's why I keep repeating that. I keep repeating that for a reason. Uh, and it's, it's just this baby, let me tell you something. You wasn't ready, baby. You weren't ready and that baby knew you weren't ready. It just, it was not the right time. It was not the right time. It was not the right time. But let me tell you something. Because we're going to pull these oracle cards out to you. Now these dreams that you're having, uh, definitely feel like either you could be a Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. You could be a Pisces, Scorpio, or a Cancer. Uh, what's another water sign? What's the other water sign, y'all? What's the other water Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. I think that's it, honestly. Because we be wanting to put Aquarius in there, but Aquarius is air. That is not water, for the people that didn't know. Even though she got the water symbolization all up in her sign, but you yeah, know. But uh, you could be one of the water signs, or your baby possibly could have been that water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Um, definitely just do be mind of that. Look, man. Look, whatever is blocking you from your growth, whoever this is, and you know who it is, because this baby is delivering you dreams. This baby is showing you signs. Whoever this is, you need to, mm -hmm. whoever this is, you need to take note of that. You need to get them out of your life. You need to get up on rid of them. I feel like you are also a very spiritual person. I feel like you may, especially with this high priestess and this secret card at the bottom of your deck, I definitely feel like you're somebody that may even dibble and dabble in magic or you're learning about magic. Um, it could be because you're trying hard to manifest you another baby. You really wanted that baby. I definitely feel that energy. You really, really wanted that baby. Uh uh-huh, and that's exactly what these light cards keep popping out. These guidance, these oracle cards keep popping out. We got the witch doctor for wisdom, and then we got the creation of solo. Look at that, solo magic, solo magic. That witch doctor kind of tells you about just, just working in your own magic, doing your own thing. What are you doing to, um, just to just grow your spirituality, grow your knowledge, grow your... Grow, you know, just grow in everything. Just grow. Use the magic and the knowledge that you get to get what you want, to manifest what you want. And you're going to have to spend some time alone. You're going to have to be alone, honey. You're going to have to cut out these people. That's why this death card here, because you got a lot of people you need to cut out. It was a lot of people that was talking negative on you, talking negative on this baby. Let me tell you something. When you get pregnant again, or if you're pregnant right now, don't tell nobody your business. Keep people out of your business, group A. Keep people out of your business. And like I said, it's being brought to you who the people are that you need to get rid of. Because these people stun your growth. They stun your evolution. They stun you. They stunting you. They even It's even a blockage when it comes to your career path. And your baby has been trying to let you know that. So you need to, you need to go ahead. They even, I'm telling you, I think these people wish bad on you and your baby too. I think they probably, they probably wish death on your baby. They probably did. They probably was hoping that this baby wouldn't come. They was hoping that this baby wouldn't be born. It's just like they hate to see you do good. They say they hate to see you rise. They hate to see you elevating. Okay? You better listen to this baby because this baby is definitely on your spiritual team. If you are dibbling, dabbling in magic or, or manifesting, you're trying to figure out ways to manifest and just and get stuff drawn to you. Definitely keep doing that. Keep working in that. Don't stop working in that. Don't stop doing that. Keep doing what you got to do to get what you want and what you need. But the biggest, biggest, biggest part, the biggest, biggest, biggest part is that you get these haters away from you. That you get these people that don't mean you no good away from you. Your baby is trying to tell you they stunting you more than you know. I'm going to go ahead and flip your career and your, your evolution. I'm going to flip them up right. I'm going to flip them up right because you're going to get it together. But let me tell you something. Don't be afraid to cut people off. Don't be afraid to walk away from people that don't mean you no good. I don't care if it's your mama. I don't care if it's your daddy, grandma, uncle, grandpa, auntie, brother, sister, best friend. I don't care who they are. 
You'll be amazed at the people that try to stunt your growth. You'll be amazed at the people that try to stop your blessings. You'll be amazed at the people that's wishing bad on you. You'll be amazed. I'm going to tell you that right now. That's why it's best for us to learn how to walk alone. It's best for us to learn how to, how to be one with ourselves and how to use our own powers and how to learn how to use magic within ourselves and around us. Okay? Get rid of these people. Get rid of these people, group A. I'm going to tell you like that. I definitely feel like this was a little girl. She has not left your side. She is in your dreams. She's giving you visions, and you need to pay attention to that. I definitely feel like she was going to be a reincarnation. Uh, it's something. She was going to be a reincarnation, but she knew you weren't wasn't. She you wasn't ready. It was too much. It was too much negative energy around you. It was too much. It was too much, and she didn't want to come be around all that. I'm going to be real with you right now. Somebody was wishing death on her. And you need to, whoever was wishing death. And you know who it is because you've been seeing them. You've been seeing them in your dreams. You've been seeing them in your dreams. You've been seeing them in little pass by visions. Or you get that urge like, I really should stop fucking with you. I should really stop fucking with you. Pay attention to that group A. When you get energy like that and you feel like, I really should stop fucking with you. Pay attention to that. Don't ignore them signs. Don't ignore your higher self. Higher self is always going to let you know when somebody's vibration is lower than yours and when you don't need to be around them. I'm trying to tell you something, group A. But your back, look, keep doing what you're doing. Keep growing. Get strong in your magic. Be to yourself. Be in your peace. Keep your business to yourself. Point blank, period. This baby, I'm not going to say this baby going to come back. I'm not going to say if you get pregnant again, this is going to be the same little girl. I'm not going to say that. But I just, you know, do what I say. <laughs> Look at me. Do what I say. You're listening. You better listen. You better listen. Clear out these, these stagnated energies, these no good energies. Get them away from you. Now, that's a message from your golden baby. That's a message from your baby. If you want to know, I definitely do feel that this was a little girl. Uh, and I definitely do feel she was a reincarnation of a grandmother of some sort. So if she would have came here, baby, she was going to be an old soul. I tell you, she was going to be an old soul. But she was such an old soul, she knew that you wasn't ready for her to come. That's the thing. She knew it wasn't. She was, mm-mm. Mm-mm. I'm not coming down there where you got all that stuff wrapped around you. I'm not coming around now. I'm not coming around now. Okay? Okay? I do hear a message, though. I do, man. I hear something about a rainbow, baby. But I don't. I'm not, mm -mm. We, we go, only time will tell, only time will tell, I'm not going to sit up there and put that in your head, I'm not going to sit up there and do that to your group A, but group A, that was your message, that was your reading, get to yourself, get these negative energies away from you, your baby's still with you, your baby's still with you, your baby didn't left spiritually, she's still there, she's trying to give you warning signs, I hope you learn how to pay attention to them. I hope you learn how to pay attention to them, and like I say, if you're dibbling and dabbling in magic, keep doing it. Get your knowledge up. Get your knowledge up, group A. Get your knowledge up. Y'all, let me go get my oil. Because why isn't my bell over here? Y'all know I like my bell. Hold on, y'all. Let me go get my bell so I can clear out this energy. Hold on. Why is my bell not on my bed? Hey, this is Miss Fear, guys. The group A. Y'all can exit. Y'all can exit stage left, stage left. Thank you so much. <laughs> Exit stage left, ancestors and golden babies of group A. Thank you so much for coming in to the reading, ancestors and spirit guys and golden babies in group A. Thank y'all so much for coming through. Thank y'all so much for coming through. Now we're going to be moving on to group B. We are going to be moving on to group B. Group B, group B, group B, 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 group B, group B, group B. I know I was a little late, y'all. Group B. Now, Ruby, go ahead, take a deep breath. So let me refresh my uh, throat chakra. and spear guys and golden babies of group B Cardinal Cardinal <laughs> calling all golden babies for my people that's choosing power B group B come on in golden babies come on in come on in golden babies come on in come on in 
Golden babies, what message do y'all have for y'all parents that y'all left behind on this earthly plane? And sister spirit guys, guide the golden babies in here. Got them in here. Golden babies, what messages do y'all have for y'all parents that y'all left on this earthly plane? Come on, golden babies. Come on in here. Come on in here, golden babies. Golden babies. Come on in here. What message do y'all have for y'all parents that y'all left behind, golden babies? What message? What message do y'all have? What message do y'all have, golden babies? Let me pull your oracle cards, too. I see that. I see that. I see that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, wait a minute now. Wait a minute now. Golden babies, what light oracle cards do y'all have for y'all parents that you left behind? Golden babies. Now, this first card, Group B, that I got is the hangman and it's upside down. That's one. Oh, Jesus, because it slipped in my hand. So she is like, look, throw me out of you. Golden babies. One message. Oh, you didn't fall out now. If you want to come out, jump out. Jump out. Jump out, jump out, jump out. What message? What message, Golden Babies? Go ahead and pull it out the dick. What message? Uh oh, I don't kind of want it to fly out. I'm definitely, there it is. I'm definitely hearing that this is more than one baby. This is more than one baby. This is more than one baby. Before I could even, it was more than one baby, more than one baby. Okay. So I don't know if maybe you lost twins. Or maybe you you have multiple golden babies. You may be somebody that that just you you're having trouble with in with with fertileness with the baby coming all the way through, um with the babies or the baby. It's just it's, you might just be having some kind of um infertile in vitro. In, what's this word I'm hearing? Like in fertility problems. You may be somebody that's having some fertility problems. So you probably lost more than one baby, or you lost. Like one baby at a time, or you lost twins, or something of that nature. But it's more than one baby that's in this reading. It's more than one baby. Uh, and I think, too, not think, let me show you the cards I got. So I got the hangman, I got visions, and then I got the seven of bowls, and I got the harvest lodge, and then I got the seven of stones. Y'all see that? Let me pull it back a little bit. Them the cards I got. And the colors I get. Okay, the colors I get. And then for your oracle cards, I have silence and I have joy and light. Sorry, y'all. I need to eat today. I don't know why I'm burping like that. Or did I eat? I think I ate a little bit. I think I ate something. Probably some of them garlic mushroom noodles. Probably. I think I only had like two bites of that though. I didn't even have a lot. But, uh, you know, you're supposed to fast anyway. They say to help with digestion and stuff. Out. So, hey, that's fine. So, the first thing, Group B, that I want to talk about with you is that you should not be letting this affect how you see yourself with this hangman coming up. The first thing that jumped out was this hangman. What was about me? Nurturing larger bowls. Oh, man. So, you somebody. I definitely feel like you somebody that want kids really bad. Um, you know what it seemed like? The thing that you want the most in life is always the thing that's hardest to get. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you that's how it is because I want a man. Can't find one. <laughs> I can find one. They there. They there. It's just, I just don't like none of them. I just don't like none of them. Don't like none of them. None of them, none of them, none of them. None of them are magical or nothing. Like the killers say, I've been looking for Jesus. <laughs> Not really. Not really. What's the black version of Jesus? I'm looking for the black version. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> let me stop. Let's get serious. Okay, um, you're definitely somebody though that I see. Uh, I think this the, the loss of so many children has. I don't want to say it like that of so many children, but I definitely do feel like it's more than one child. And I don't know if maybe you maybe had lost twins, or maybe you're somebody that every time you get pregnant something happens, uh, or or you just kind of is. But it's multiple babies. It's not just one baby. It's really not because uh, I heard a lot of them laughing. I heard a lot of them giggling. I can still hear them. <laughs> I can still hear. Um, you know how children laugh. You can just hear that. I don't know. I don't. If you're a clear audience, you get what I'm saying. Cause if you you you've heard, you can hear it. 
Uh, you get what I'm saying if you clear audience though. But let's get into this real group B. I'm sorry I keep going off track like that. But with this vision card, I think it is really kind of changing how you see yourself. And let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, group B. Let me tell you something. You are still a woman. You are still beautiful. You are still nurturing. You are still a teacher, a mother, whether you got kids or not. You don't need to have kids to be a mother. Being a mother comes naturally. Because you know what? It's some people that have my birth mother was not born with the mother in gene. A few of my siblings, I definitely think they weren't born with the mother in gene. Oh, <laughs> let me not be petty. <laughs> but anyway, um, if you it, it's almost... I know it's weird, but it's like you kind of, you either got it or you don't. And just because you don't have children doesn't mean that you don't have it. You feel me? It doesn't mean that you don't have it. Uh, what it means is that you can just be a mother to the ones that are motherless. Okay? I've had plenty of mothers that didn't have kids that were a mother to me. Okay? You don't have to birth a child to prove that you're a mother. And I know, I think that's really kind of what's messing with you the most. And your kids are seeing that. Your golden baby see that. It's like she feels incomplete. Because we're not coming. We, we not making it all the way through. Or we not lasting. And I, I, I understand. I get why it would make you feel that way. But stop feeling that way. And your babies don't want you to feel that way either. Because the energy that I'm, these were some happy babies. Even if they didn't make it to their full term. Or they made it here. And they still they still were happy babies. They still would have been happy babies if they would have made it. Very, very happy babies because they're giggling. So even in the spiritual realm, they're still happy babies. And you know what? And I'm looking here at your cards with all these sevens. It's it's the sevens. So you are somebody that's that's blessed abundantly. That's just, you know, and I know you that just it just hurts. It hurts because I know you feel like, well, if I'm so abundant and I'm so blessed. Why can't I have what I want? Let me tell you something. Because that's how the universe builds your strength up. That's how that's how the universe, God, however you want to put it, that's how God make you a stronger person. Look at uh, who that was. Who that was. Uh, what's Joseph Mama? What was Joseph Mama name? Because you know how, who was Joseph now? If you're familiar with the Bible. Dang, is it Sarah? Is it Sarah? Sarah, the ugly sister, I don't want to call it, but you know, Sarah, then it was the other sister, because which Joseph's daddy had married both of them, okay? He had married the other one, and the other one was just popping out babies left and right. But the one that he was really in love with, Sarah, Sarah was having the hardest time birthing children. And when she finally did birth one, little Mr. Joseph, you know, look at how magical he was. But sometimes... You, it, you, and, and, and that's the crazy part too, because Sarah had the love of this man, but, and he adored her, but he, she just couldn't give him a child at the time, at the time, I remember that at the time, but the moment that she did bear him a child, look what God blessed her with. You know what? I'm not big on the Bible and quoting the Bible, but there's some scriptures in that Bible. They're good stories and it's good stuff to kind of like, not all of it. But it's good stuff because a lot of our lives are kind of based around that Bible. A lot of people go through the same stuff people in this Bible was going through. What about that lady that didn't have a baby until she was something years old, 90 something years old? What's that Joseph Mama? What's that Joseph Mama that had that little? I can't think. I don't know. Like I told you, I'm not too big on the Bible, but I know some of the stuff in the Bible. But this is the kind of energy, though, that this is giving me. And it's just. You are so abundant. And there's even, and it's, I see a man here, and you know what, and if, if you are married and you are with this man right now, I just want you to know that this man just loves you and adores you. And to see him sticking by your side, you got to look at what you do have, my mom. You got to look at what you do have. You got to look at the blessings that's surrounding you. The husband that's sticking through you through this through this hard time. And that's probably what makes you feel even more inadequate. Because you like, I got this good husband and I can't give him no seed. I can't give him no, you know, no offspring. Like, you know, it's just, I'm not complete. I'm not a woman. I'm not this. Stop telling yourself that. You are complete. You are a woman. You are a mother. You are a teacher, a leader, a preacher. You are... So many, 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 many great things. You don't need to have a baby to prove that you're a woman, to prove that you're a mother. You don't need a baby to prove that. But what you, what I recommend you do and what I can feel coming from your babies, from your golden babies, go be a mother to the motherless. 
it's a lot. I don't know if you go to church or not, or if you in church, go be it. Cause you know how many children are in the church without a good mother. It's a lot of these women in these churches, not in these churches to make sure these babies get this knowledge. They in these churches trying to mess with the pastor. They in these churches trying to mess with, you know what, I ain't going to get down to. They in these trying to mess with the people in the band and in the choir and trying to take other women husbands from them. That's what a lot of these women do. And a lot of these women got kids, need to be focusing on their kids, making sure their kids get some knowledge and get some teaching. But they too busy trying to get a husband instead of being a mother. So how about that? If you some type of teacher or something, be a full-on mother to these te to these babies that don't have a mother. You know what? You'll be surprised if you go out where the homeless people stay and see how many children are really out in these streets that people don't know about. That people really, you know, really struggling to take care of their kids and struggling to keep themselves alive. Because you know poverty and stuff has been going up. It's been going up. I'm trying to tell you. But you got so many blessings. Hey, do do toy. It's the list of holiday time. You know? And in honor of your golden babies, how about you do some toy drives? How about you do some clothes drives? You know? Do something in your community to help with the children that are motherless and to help with the children that are fatherless. Because it's a lot of them out there looking for somebody. While you trying to pre procreate and, and put another baby out there in this cold world, how about we go out there and go be a mother to these children that are shivering in this world? Okay? I don't want to make, say that to try to make you feel better nothing like that but you got a lot of love to give and since you 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 know it's not your time go and go be a mother to somebody that really really need it and you might already be doing this kind of energy this is probably why you're so abundant why you're so blessed why these sevens baby why these sevens is following you like this okay and a lot of times too here you another one with the silence silence joy and light because this is what these are the two energies I need you to be in. Now, let me tell you something. You can listen to me or you could you could not. But you clicked on this reading for a reason. You clicked here for a reason, right? So, let's make it a good one. Silence. Will you do pop-up? If you do, when you do pop-up pregnant again, don't tell no mother. Do you got me? Don't tell no mother. And I mean no motherfucker about it. Besides the man that put it in you. That's it. And you need to let him know. Don't tell no motherfucking body. Don't tell nobody. If you're pregnant right now, you done told people with shit. Don't tell nobody else. You hear me, mama? Do you hear me? Don't tell nobody your business. Because let me tell you something. If you are this abundant that I'm seeing right here in these cars, oh baby, you got some haters. I don't care how good you are. You got some haters. I don't care who you helping. The same people you helping be your haters. I'm trying to tell you. I hope you hear me. I'm trying to tell you, mama. I'm trying to tell you. And walk in joy and light. Keep your mouth closed. Alex. Keep your mouth closed and walk in joy and light. Let me tell you something. Because when praises go up, you know the rest. Blessings come down. And that's exactly what God and Spirit want to do for you. Look around, baby. Don't let this one hangman, don't let this hangman inverted upside down be the reason why you can't see all the good things that you got in your life. Don't let that hangman do you that. Don't let that thought process do you that. Get you a journal. I got my journal right here. That's what I'm pointing at. Get you a journal. Get you a pen and write down everything that you are appreciative of. Write it all down. Sit there and sit in abundance. Sit in appreciation and let it be known. I am appreciative for this, 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 this. And that line, gonna, that, that list going to be long. It's going to be heck along. I'm trying to tell you. It's going to be long because I'm looking at it. And not only that, you got some more blessings being walked into your house. Your house is already full with fruits and vegetables and love and joy and happiness. But you're walking even more into it. So this lets me know you're a good person. You really are. You really are a good person. And in due time, I don't know if you're going to adopt a baby or have a baby. Maybe that too. Maybe look into adoption. Maybe look into adoption. It might not be meant for you to care, baby. Maybe look into adoption. 
I'm not big on that elitro stuff. I'm not big on that. I'm really not. So I'm not going to push that on you. But if that's what you want to do, then go ahead and do it. I ain't going to judge you. But like I say, it's plenty of other children out here that's, that's looking for a good home. It's plenty of other children that are already here that are looking for somebody. So be that somebody to them, group B. If you could be that somebody to somebody, please be that somebody. Please. I'm begging you. Please. I'm serious. I'm begging you. We got a lot of babies out here already that need love, that want love, that will surprise you because they're going to grow up to be a doctor, be a lawyer, be a teacher, be something that, that you couldn't even imagine. Your child is probably already here walking around in, in another body, walking around in another body. Ask God to guide you. Ask God to guide you. Ask Spirit to guide you. You know, which way should I go? Which way should I go when it comes to a child? You know, should I adopt? Should I, you know, what should I do? What should I do? Should I just get out here and take care of kids? Should I, should I become a teacher? Should I become a counselor for these babies out here in these streets? Group B, that's your message though, baby. But let me tell you something. Sit in silence. And look, man, you should, with the bottom of the deck was nurturing larger bowls. Look at our little children. Look, look at this family. Look at that. You may have to adopt one of your sister kids or something. Go ahead. Your sister, your brother. You may have some kids in your family that need to be adopted. That need somebody to take them under their wing. That need somebody. Don't be so obsessed with what you not putting out. And look at what's already around you. Because you, you're abundant. You already got so much stuff around you. So much. So much. All right, Group B. But that's your message from your garden, baby. Remember, silence. And appreciativeness. Walk in your joy and your light. Walk in that joy and that light. Ride into the sunset. Be in peace. Sit with yourself and be quiet sometimes, spirit. Uh, uh, group B. Talk about spirit, group B. But anyway, group B, that is your reading answers. And golden babies of group B. Y'all can clear on out. Thank y'all so much for coming in. Group B, group B, group B. Now we all in the group C. Y'all know me. I got to hydrate after every one. Mm -hmm. All right. And sisters and steer guides, we are calling on the golden babies for group C. Golden babies for, for all my people that are picking group C. Come on in the room. Come on, golden babies. What message do y'all have for y'all parents that have picked group C? What is it that you want them to know? What is it that you're wanting them to be aware of? Golden babies for all the people that are tuning in to group C. What message do y'all have for y'all parents? What is it that they need to be aware of? What is it that you want to let them on, talk to them about? Come on, golden babies. Come on in. 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 Okay. What's the bottom of the deck? Six of pipes. Golden babies of group C, what light would you like to shine on this reading for your parents, golden baby? Ooh, okay. Golden baby of group C, what message would you like to pass on to your parents? What message? Oh. Now, nah, come on. Come on now. Y'all don't have to shoot that out the dick. Just shoot it out. Shoot it out. Shoot it out. Shoot it out. If you don't want to shoot it out, that's all right. Now, nah, just peek it back at you. What message, Golden Babies, do y'all have for y'all parents? Oh, hold on. I thought so. I thought so. This is a little boy. This is a little boy. I ain't much pointing. This is a little boy. This is a little boy. Because I kept hearing it was a little boy, and then here this light card popped out with the little boy on it. Oh. Mm-hmm. This loss had to happen for your alignment. Um, uh, yeah, this loss had to happen for your alignment. 
everything happens for a reason. I'm gonna say that. I'm, I'm always gonna say that. I'm always gonna say that. Group C. But this was definitely a little boy, and I'm gonna show you why I assume it's a little boy. Uh, and I'm gonna tell you too how you can get this. Uh, I'm not gonna say get it back, but um, this 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 definitely popped out to me real quick. Group C. Who Group C? Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Group C. I'm going to tell you right now. Let me show you your cards. So we got Ten of Songs. We got this Moon card again. You another one with Visions. You another one with Visions, child. Uh, and then we got this Five of Stones. Let me show you that. This is what we got. Am I too close? This is what we got. This is what we got. And then I was already here and it was a little boy, but I didn't want to jump to conclusions and be like, it's a little boy. But here we got to pay attention. And see, that's a little boy she holding. So that clarified it even more for me. And then we got magic. We got alignment. Got to pay attention in alignment. So I definitely feel like you had to lose this little boy to get aligned. Because um, it, it triggered something in you when that happened. It's like, oh my God, I'm pregnant. I'm about to have a baby. And then, whoop, oh, he gone. Okay. Uh, that lets me know that I wasn't ready for him. And I feel like that's the energy that you got off right back, that you was not ready for him. I think you even felt like, I'm not ready for him. I'm not ready to be a mama. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. But I think what this did was kick you in the gears to get your shit together. Because it made you realize, oh my God, I could be a parent. This could happen. I could get pregnant. Uh, like, I asked, that can actually happen to me. Yes, girl, what the hell? Uh, <laughs> that can actually happen to me. Like I can actually have a kid. What the hell? Um, but yeah, it can happen. And uh, some of us, it's gonna happen again. Uh, that's what I heard. That's what I heard. I'm gonna say what I heard. I'm gonna say what I heard now. Cause a lot of these, I've been kind of skeptical with going. Um, I've been kind of skeptical with with. Cause you don't know, never wanna. You know, but if that's what spirits say, that's what spirits say. And I'm going to let spirits say what he got to say. Uh, so let's talk about what this little boy want to talk about. This this little feisty little thing, too. He real feisty. Uh, <laughs> baby, you wasn't going to be ready for him. No way. He was going to be running you up the walls. I'm going to tell you that right now. Because <laughs> his little energy feisty right now. Uh, but really, the, the message that I'm getting here, uh, we got the Ten of Stones, we got the Grandmother Card, we got the Hobbits of the Lodge of Stones upside down. We're going to talk about that because you, 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 you're you a little careless with your money. You're a little careless with your with your finances. Uh, and I do see here where, where you are a hard worker. You are a hard worker. Um, I'm going to give you that. But it's just, when it comes to these finances, you're not you're not doing what you're supposed to. You're not you're not taking care of business like you should. And that's going to have to change with this five of stones. So you're going to have to get really hard with these with these finances. You're going to have to secure them. You're going to have to be more responsible. You're going to have to start you up a savings account. You, you need to be getting ready. I'm going to tell you like that. You need to be getting ready and you need to batten down the hatches and you need to toughen up. You need to toughen up. I don't know if this is a man or a woman watching this video, but you need to toughen up. You need to you need to secure the bag. You need to secure it. And I you the first of all, let me tell you something. If you're one of these people that's that's big on getting stuff to please outer, to please the people around you, you need to get out of that. You need to get out of that energy. If you one of these, I gotta have a new outfit, I gotta have shoes, I gotta have a bag to match the shoes, or I gotta get the J's and I gotta get the hat to match the J's. Stop thinking like that. Stop. Stop. It's okay to treat yourself like that when you can afford it. But if you cannot afford it, you need to stop. You need to stop. Because what's going to happen if you get blessed with another child, you're going to have that mindset with this child. And you're going to be teaching this baby the wrong stuff. Because that's not what matters the most. What you are wearing does not matter. The people around you want you to believe it matter why. So you can stay broke as looking like a joke. Because that's the joke is on you. The joke is on you when your money ain't right. But you got the nerve to be out here rocking Balenciaga red bottoms and J's. But your bank account is looking real depressing and going, hey, where the money at? Okay, get out that energy. Get out that energy. And somebody been bothering you too. Somebody been bothering you. Somebody been bothering you. And I mean in like the in your dream state. 
uh what else it's another message to this too hold on because it may not be just your dream i think you are getting visions in your dreams and stuff i think you are being acknowledged of stuff when you are sleeping i don't know if you pay too much attention to it but i definitely do see that you do receive messages you do get visions uh as well but here's the thing here's the thing honey here's the thing you gotta learn how to listen what was that? Pay attention. And I'm sitting up here listening and something was like, look at the card. And I say, what was that? And it's pay attention. You got to pay attention to the signs that are around you because you're not just getting them in a dream state. You're getting what I call spiritual downloads. You're getting, you're getting information and knowledge passed on you in some of the weirdest ways. And you'll look at it and you'll be like, oh, you know what? Maybe I should. But for some reason, I feel like you don't. It's like you see it, you acknowledge it, but you'll veer off. Don't veer off. Don't veer off. Pay attention to these signs. These signs are not being given to you just for the fun of it, for you to be like, oh, the universe and messages are real. Wow. Okay. Anyway, no, you need to pay attention. You need to listen. You need to take note of what you're seeing. You need to be taking note, baby. I'm so serious. Because, baby, if, if this is what you got to get ready to, you got to get aligned. You got to get aligned. You got to get aligned. Um, And I don't know if you got a man or what. I don't know if you got a man. Uh, what it is, too, though, I think you may you may be somebody that's very uh magical yourself. Oh, uh, or you're with somebody right now that uh whoever this, this person that you're with at this moment, I think this is a very good person for you. Um, I think this is a very I think this person is very spiritually in tune. Um, and so I don't that's why I say I don't know if you're a man or if you're a woman, but whoever this other counterpart may be, I think this counterpart was brought into your life for a reason. So if y'all are feeling under attack or something like that or you feeling like something's trying to something probably is trying to harm your relationship so pay attention to that and make sure that y'all communication is open because there's something about this card here and i don't know if speed was just like look at the bottom of the card at the bottom of the oracle deck and it's it's creation partnered it's sex magic so it's just you and this person that you are with or they may be about to walk in your life or if they are currently in your life this is somebody that you can grow a lot with this is somebody spiritually that can teach you something. If not, you teach him. But her, him, her, whatever. Y'all can learn from each other. Y'all can grow with each other. And maybe even a life may come with that. But you got to get your, your head out of your... And you got to stop thinking that material things... God, you're probably a Capricorn Taurus Virgo with this materialistic stuff. Look, and I'm a Capricorn too. And I ain't gonna lie... I was hella materialistic in my younger days, but now I realize that she means absolutely nothing. It means absolutely nothing. What matters is what's up here and what's in here. That's what matters the most. The knowledge in here and the love in here. Because these two are the things that are going to grow. They're going to continue to grow, even in death. Even when your, your soul keeps that knowledge as it departs from this vessel, and goes on to somewhere else, whether it's back to the stars or whether it's back to being reincarnated. It keeps the knowledge that it gets while it's on this planet. So don't be stuck with the material shit. Don't be stuck in that. Don't be like, I got to look my best. I got to do this. I got to, you know, look a certain way, make me feel good. Duh, 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 duh. I get it, but that's not it. I get it, but that's not it, okay? You got so much more, so many more bigger things to be worried about besides material things, okay? Because we got a, a magical partner coming up in here. And baby, don't, don't be so wrapped up in material that you lose this blessing, whoever this man or woman is. Whoever this man or woman is, because I'm telling you, this person going to bring some knowledge to you. Shit, they may already be trying to talk to you the way I'm talking to you. Like, man, that stuff really don't matter. You know what I'm saying? Like, that don't matter. Your shoes don't matter. Da, 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 that don't matter. They probably were attracted to you because how they seen how clean you were and how you carried yourself. Yes, that's probably what attracted them to you. But if, once they start to see how crazy you are about material shit, it's probably, it might kind of scam them off a little bit because they might be like, I can't keep up with that. I can't, you know, I can't, that's, that's too much. You, you're going to be draining me. But it's just, look, that's what I'm trying to take you, get aligned. Learn who you are. Learn who you are. Realize this baby, this little boy. You, you, you got to, look, I'm going to say it like you got a higher calling. You got a higher purpose. And everything happens for a reason. Get you together. Get your soul together. Get your mind and your heart together. All become one. 
become one and you'll see how things are going to get better for you okay uh pay attention because it's really it's really it's really just you you got to work on you you got to continue to get better and you know this you know this that the biggest thing that this baby is worried about is your financial stuff because this baby probably is going to be something really really great and they needed a, a real teacher to teach them the spiritual, to teach them the mental, to help them get their knowledge. Not for them to be stressed out and worried about materialistic. Not for them to be so consumed in what other people around them thinking about them. And that's probably where you are mentally. Get out of that though. Break that and get aligned with your spirit. Get aligned with your heart and your mind. You could do it. You could do it. So when the time comes that a rainbow baby comes, you're going to be ready to step into motherhood, fatherhood. You're going to realize what it is. And with this six of pipes too, go be one with nature. Go outside. Go for walks. Go ride your bike. Mm-hmm. Go outside. Go skate. Go be in nature. Get up away from that, that cell phone. Get away from that TV. Stop looking at Fashion Week if you was one of them. Get off them fashion pages and stuff like that. If you ain't making the clothes to sell them and make money off of them like Yay and all them other ones doing, get your ass up off that and go outside. Go your ass off. I ain't playing with you. I ain't playing with you. Like Bernie Mac say. <laughs> I ain't playing with you. Yeah. <laughs> The nine group C, that is your message. That is your message. It is time because it's a lot of magic here, man. That's all I'm saying. You you got to, and I think too, the reason why stuff come to you so good like that, materialistic, is because of your your ability to draw stuff to you, your your manifesting abilities. And with them type of abilities, that means you're going to draw something really, really great to you when it comes to a child, when it comes to that. But you knew you would, part of me feel like you knew you weren't ready for this baby. So I'm not going to say you felt at ease when the baby didn't make it but it, it was some type of like okay yeah i'm not really ready i wasn't really ready anyway so you know it probably didn't i'm not gonna say it didn't hurt you to lose your baby i'm not gonna say that i'm not gonna say that but i don't think it was a major loss i don't think it put you in a depression or it might have put you in one but i don't think it was as dramatic you know as some people be you know i, I think you kind of realized you wasn't ready i think you it made you realize oh i still got some more growing to do i'm not ready for all that and be careful take your precautions yeah look you probably still got some healing to do any you got a lot of more healing to do anyway these childhood traumas because let me tell you something that's the one thing you're gonna want to bring a baby into this world and you still a baby in your mind yourself how a baby gonna raise the baby please make it make sense because it don't it don't you need to be reteaching yourself, dumping out everything you learn in order to go ahead and raise another human being right. You got me, Group C? You got me. Because you know me, I'll go on preaching forever. I ain't lying. I'll go on preaching forever. But get a line. Pay attention to the signs around you. Spirit is talking to you. Your ancestors are speaking to you. All of them. You still got healing and stuff to do. Go ahead and do that. Like I say, going out, being in nature, go ride your bike, go for a walk, go for a run. Do what you got to do, Group C, to go ahead and get your healing of your inner child and stuff together. You got me? You got me. Well, Group C, that was your reading from your golden baby. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, Golden baby, stay tuned in to Group C. Thank you so much. Y'all can exit stage left. Exit stage left. Group, group C babies. Group C babies. Exit stage left. Exit stage left. Now we last but not least, we are going on to group D. I hear the name Deborah. Deborah? Deborah, you there, Deborah? That might be somebody's grandmother coming in. Whoever did, oh Lord, what was that? Whoever Deborah is, Deborah, uh, I got two cards jumped out for Deborah. Apprentice of Stones and the Totem of Arrows. Uh, whatever this message is, Deborah, it's the message that I'm receiving is you need to get your financials together. And also, well, actually, you might be doing that already with this financial, uh, situation. Uh, it's your money is growing, but continue to grow your money and continue to be serious about it. Be serious about it. Be on all four legs, man. Be on all four leg, legs and be game ready. Take your money seriously. I don't know. I heard the name Deborah and then them two cards came out. That this financial status, this apprentice of stones, you may even have to take up some um some some financial classes or something. It's something about growing your money, growing your abundance. 
So be ready for that, Deborah. Or whoever this message from Deborah is, if you know a Deborah, it's something about financial status, getting it up, getting it together, getting it right. And then we got the Tuttle's Barrows with the coyote with the uh, with the four legs and basically four is ancestor. You already know that's a message from the ancestors with that number four. And they just kind of just want you to be on guard about these financials. What was it about a six or seven? Be on guard about these financials. That was a message from Deborah. Whoever whoever tuning in the group D, they know Deborah. Okay, if you know a Deborah, baby, she say to financials, get it together, get serious about it. Get serious. All right, Deborah. It's the stage left, Deborah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Unless you're about to pop up again in this reading. All right, Group D. All right. Oh, Group D. Group D, you ready to talk? Group D said they ready. Come on, Group D. Whoa. Whoa. Group D. Calm down. <laughs> Take your deep breaths, please. You know I got to tell you to do that while I hydrate. <laughs> that big deal. And sister, the spirit guys, come on and guide the babies, guide the golden babies in here. For Group D, all my people that are tuning in to Group D, let their golden babies come up in the room. Oh, 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 okay, okay. All right, let's do that again. I had somebody dropping by. I know they entered in and flopped in my house. I don't think so. And sister and spirit, guys. Send in my golden babies for the people that are choosing group D. Send in my golden babies for the people that are choosing group D. Come on in the room. Golden babies, what messages do y'all have for y'all parents that y'all left behind? Golden babies, what messages do y'all have for y'all parents that y'all left behind? What is it that they need to be aware of? What is it that they need to know? What is it that you want to share with your parents, group D? Golden babies, what is it, golden babies? What is it that you want to share? What is it that you want to share? Okay. So, come on, Group D. Take your deep breaths for me. We're gonna shuffle one more time. Let me let me let this selenite clear out the day. Cause that probably was the right message, but for some reason it just wasn't my mind was like, uh-uh, reshuffle, reshuffle. Get my little stagnated energy out of there. All right, come on, babies, golden babies for my people that are choosing group D. What message do y'all have for y'all parents, golden babies, golden golden babies, to my people that are choosing power group D, group D. Oh, look at this man, this 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 just. I feel like it was a lot of drama with this baby. I really do. I really, really do. Because that baby was putting me through the most, okay? The absolute most. Off top, the first thing that I'm hearing is that the father was a very childish energy. The, that's the first thing I'm hearing. The father was a very childish energy. That's the first thing that I'm hearing. I'm not even gonna lie to you. The father was a very childish energy. The father was a very, very childish energy. Uh, so I would not be surprised if he played part in the reason why you lost this baby or why this baby was a golden baby. Because honey, mm-mm. He was he's mm-mm. That's the first thing I started to get. Uh, and I'm also hearing that I hope she's still not with him. Uh 
What, what golden light cards do y'all want to put out? Golden babies for group D. Golden babies for group D. What messages do y'all have for your parents that chose group D? Golden babies, what messages do y'all have for your parents that chose group D? What messages do y'all have for your parents that chose group D? Look at this. Let me get one more. Mm -hmm. And I'm wondering, child, I'm wondering, what's this? Animal energy, channel animal energy. Okay, that's a real pretty card. That's really pretty. So, Group D, let's talk about this. Whoever that this baby was supposed to be for, it didn't even like its own daddy. Uh, I'm going to be real with you. It didn't like its own daddy. I don't know what this dad or what this, this father figure was putting you through. But this baby did not like this daddy. This daddy was not ready to be a daddy. This daddy was very childish energy. Go, this golden baby is really talking about this daddy. Okay? The person that, that you were going to, that the baby father was going to be. How the baby don't like the daddy? Baby, so that means as a child, they would have grew up, and even in adulthood, they weren't going to like their father, unless their father would have changed. But whoever this is, baby, this golden baby did not like their daddy. Um, because what this golden baby is telling me, uh, that man put you through some stuff, child. That man put you through some stuff. Uh, and I'm really hoping that you're still not with this man. I really, really, really do hope that you're still not with him. Uh, and remember, take what resonate, leave what don't. So if you with a good man, and <laughs> and you getting this reading, and you're like, what? That ain't no sense. Then baby, maybe this pile not for you because this baby don't like his daddy, her daddy, whatever this baby was. Because I'm not really too sure about what the sex this baby is. But this golden baby did not like they daddy. I'm gonna keep it real. I'm gonna keep it 100. Um, with this eight of bowls being upside down, we had the two, two wait, we had the what? The two of stones. The Eight of Bowls, the Ace of Bowls, and then we got the, the Totem of the Arrows with the Four-Legged Coyote, but it's upside down. Very, very, very childish energy. Very, very childish energy. Very, very immature. Um, Very, very, and this was definitely, you were definitely going to be raising this baby on your own. So, honey, child, you need to be appreciative. When I say everything happened for a reason, everything happened for a reason. I know you probably still wanted your baby. I get it. I understand. But let me tell you how hard your life was going to be. Because it was going to be hard. It was going to be hard because this man, and I really hope you're not still with this man. Because let me tell you something. Don't be afraid to leave this man either. And I know you didn't been with this man. This is the day. This is the, this is the cause that came out. This golden baby just want you to know because... Hopefully, when you do have another baby, if you haven't already had your rainbow baby, hopefully, you do it with the right man. Because, yes, we got this repetitive energy here. We got this childish energy here uh, with him. But, and I definitely do feel like you probably was taking care of this man. So, not only were you going to have to raise this baby, but you're going to have to take care of this man. And that's just too much. And I think this baby was just like, she got too much on her hands already. I'm not about to come over there and have, and be living no hard life. I'm not. She going to be struggling taking care of me. And he going to be sitting on there playing 2K or whatever it is these men do nowadays. So, I don't know what they do. I don't care. I, I don't care. Oh. Uh, but let me tell you something too, uh, cause, cause you, I do see that you're a very abundant woman. You do work hard for what you get. You do work very, very hard. Um, now for my men that's probably clicking on, that's trying to hear about that golden baby, you may have to f switch the roles. Maybe the woman wasn't ready to have the baby, and maybe you were. Maybe she was the childish one. She probably still drinking, smoking, knowing she ain't supposed to, knowing she pregnant. So just flip the roles. But either way it go, this is a repetitive cycle that needs to end. You do not need to be with this person. You do not need to procreate with this person. You do have abundance in your life. And I definitely do see once you leave this person, spirit will guide you to a better person. But just do be aware of this childish energy that still lurks and lingers around. Because I definitely do feel this person. And this could 
could be a reason why this person probably was trying to get you pregnant on purpose. This was probably an on purpose thing to kind of have you trapped, to kind of keep you to them because they realize how much of a good woman you are. The fact that you sit up there and take care of a grown ass man or a grown ass woman that could be taking care of themselves. Yeah, of course they want to keep that kind of energy around because less work for them to do, less responsibility for them. You could take on everything. I ain't got to do nothing. I got somebody that's just going to take care of my home, take care of food. I ain't got to stress nothing. And this is just not the, this is not the person that should be procreating. This is not, these are the type of people that like to set people up too. It's always them looking for an easy way out, looking for a handout. Ain't that by the, ain't it? Ain't it though? That's how it be though. I ain't lying. That's how it be. Uh, but get this childish energy around from around you. Whether it be a woman or whether it be a man. Uh, uh, this golden baby, I definitely do feel the energy. And you probably didn't even get far enough, far enough for a sex to happen. You probably wouldn't even know. That's probably why the sex isn't coming through. Because I honestly don't see a sex for the baby. Um... But I do, I don't even hear sex for the baby. And you, these past ones, I was hearing sexes. Uh, but this one, I'm not getting anything. Because I think that baby realized as soon as it started forming, it was just like, yeah, no, that's not going to work. Because, <laughs> you know, we, we choose, whether you want to believe it or not, but our soul chooses our journeys before we go on them. I'm trying to tell you, your soul chooses the path they want to go down. So that baby's soul probably chose it. And then it was just like, yeah, no, we're not about to do this. I'm not about to live in no life of struggle and hardship again. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Hello, beam me up, Scotty. <laughs> that's, what I, that's what I feel happening. I'm sorry to do you like that. But let me tell you something. Because you still got a lot of healing at the bottom of your deck energy. And it's so funny. Because I got it at the at the at in the tarot deck. And I got it in the oracle deck at the bottom. Look at how they surround it. Ain't that funny? Look at how they surrounded by animals and just heal it. You may be somebody that's good with animals. You may be somebody that owns a lot. You you know what? You're just a very, uh, I definitely want to believe you're very just a nurturing person like that to where you may have dogs, cats. You may have both. You may have turtles. You may have some lizards around you. You may have a lot of animals around you. And that's fine. You're probably just a very nurturing person. And, and you got a lot of healing to do. You got a lot of work to do on yourself. That's why, because you know what? Especially if you're with somebody that's... It's like the person that I'm describing is lazy. They just want to be taken care of. So they seen that you was doing good. So they tried to trap you because they like, oh, you're going to take care of me. You're going to be good to me. So they tried to trap you with the baby. Don't let them do you that. Don't let them do you that. Get somebody. And you know what? Spirit is going to give you somebody. That go, even this golden baby may be the one to, to push over the person that is meant to be with you. Push the person that's meant to have the baby in your life. Okay? Because you don't want to be with somebody and your animals. You get pregnant or let's say the wife get pregnant. And you, you just, the woman get pregnant and it's just. You got to handle all this stuff. You got the baby in one arm, and then you got to take care of all the animals, too. When it really should be a partnership, where well, one's with the baby one minute, and then y'all swipe out, because these, these animals are very nurturing and healing. So, it's just like, if you are somebody that's surrounded by a lot of animals and stuff like that, you had a baby for one minute, put the baby down, you go take care of the animals, and then vice versa, y'all switch roles, because that could be very healing for a mother after having baby, you know, just to take care. She may not want to always be taking care of somebody, but just to go sit and be around the animals to just get that stress uh, energy off of them, to just detoxify you. Because, you know, cats, they're good at detoxifying you. Snakes and reptiles, they're kind of good at absorbing that. It's weird to say. I know you like snakes and reptiles, but they're good. Like, like snakes, and I know it's weird because we see snakes as, like, bad things, but snakes really kind of do absorb. That's why they're so cold. That's why they like to get on you when you when you hot. They like to feel because they're absorbing that energy from you. It's it's almost like a um, gosh, how can I say it? How can I say it? But snakes are like reptilians and stuff. They're really good at absorbing that negative energy and negative aura up up, up off you. They really are. I know it's weird to say. I know it is, but that's just the knowledge that I'm pretty presented and what's being presented to me. I'm gonna go ahead and give it to you. Um, but I pray to God, Group uh, D, that you got whoever this this lazy energy. <laughs> and I hope you're not trying to have another baby with them. I hope you realize, you know what? Or I hope you had a moment of. <gasps> 
God damn, I'm happy I had no baby with you. <laughs> okay. I know I lost my baby and I'm sorry I lost my baby. I kind of wanted my baby, but at the same time, I didn't want it with you. I didn't want it with you. And you need to realize that this person is not the one that you need. You probably already got rid of them. And if you did, then your golden baby is very happy about that. Be, be with yourself and be with your animals until that person that's meant to be in your life is guided to you. Do you hear me, Group D? Do you hear me? Because I'm telling you, you're very abundant. And then with the light cards that we have here, I love this card. We have Nurture. Look at her out there sitting in nature with the trees. We have Nurture and then we have Legacy. We have the Conjuring. Got both of them cards together. Nurture and Legacy. That's kind of, that is your legacy. You're just a very nurturing person. But what these cards are telling me though, uh, take your time. Go be out with nature. Your legacy is going to happen, especially if you, if that's what you want. Maybe these animals are part of your legacy too. And then when you have your child, you're going to want your child to be able to take on their legacy. So make sure that you're with the right person. Don't go create a legacy with somebody that is undeserving of all of this wonderfulness that you have to offer anybody that is lazy anybody that can't put in work like you put in do not mess with them if they don't have a drive like you got group d if they don't push for greatness and push to be better and push to take care of others and others around them don't procreate with them because they don't see the legacy that is set before you i'm saying so I'm trying to get you to hear me. You hear me? Group D, you hear me? I hope you hear me. Because I'm loud. I know I'm loud. But whoever this energy is, Group D, get them away from you. Because even your golden baby was didn't want them as a parent. Your baby didn't want them as a parent. Like, I'm so serious. This baby up and left because they did not want this person as a parent. They was just like, this person is not going to be a good parent to me. I already know. I just know. So they up and left. I'm trying to tell you, sometimes it be just that real. It be just that real. And in this case, it is very much so that real. But okay, Group D, continue your healing. Continue to grow. Get away from people that are just not with, with, not with the mission, not with the legacy. Get away from them. Get away from them because you got big, great things, especially people that work with animals. You have a gift of tapping in that not many others do. Okay, you're a very, very special person, believe it or not. Anybody that, that takes care of the world, takes care of the plants, takes care of the animals, these are great people to spirit. These are great people to the universe because so many people are forgetting about the animals. So many people are forgetting about the trees, the birds, and the bees. So many. When these are the things that were here before us. Ain't that crazy? How can we forget about the stuff that was here before us? But that's the way it is with you, Group D. You, you got a lot. You got a lot to offer. Get this childish energy away from you. Stop taking care of people that don't need you to be taking care of them, okay? Let somebody come in and take care of you. Point blank, period. Because you working a lot and you, it could be vice versa. You're going to be able to take care of y'all. I'm not saying when you get your new person, don't take care of them. Because it's just all going to happen naturally. It's going to happen naturally for you, okay? So with that being said, Group D, thank y'all so much for tuning in. Group D, Group D, babies, golden babies of Group D, thank you so much for tuning in for your parents and for passing on this message. Shout out to all my babies, all my golden babies, all of them. We'll do another reading like this again too, but shout out to all my golden babies that tuned in. Shout out to everybody that tuned in to this reading. I thank y'all so much, and I am so very, very, very appreciative for all y'all. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And also remember, just keep on existing. I promise with time, it will continue to get better. But you got to remember to keep existing. Thank you so much. I love y'all. I hope this message received, gets to y'all when you need it. And, and I hope that it provides you with all the clarity that you need. Thank you so much. Bye.